Okay, so Instagram is a great place to get inspiration for your spreads. A lot of my patrons on Patreon have Instagram accounts. So last month I started this new series where once a month I'm going to make a video and showcase some of their spreads and then do like a random number drawing and pick one and then it's gonna be inspiration for a spread I make in the video. So that's what this is and we're gonna go ahead and start. Wait till you see these spreads, they are so cute. By the way, if you like something you see, screenshot it and go follow them on Instagram. They work really hard to put out really, really cute stuff. Okay, first up, look at this currently page. I love the use of the bright type stickers and that little stack at the bottom. We're going to see a few Valentine spreads in here and I love this one with the combination of girl power plus that Valentine's Day be happy box. The dashboard layout can be difficult, but this one, like this is just chef's kiss. Look at this. It's like they're cascading up the page. This is such a fun and colorful month review page. I love this idea and the colors are so pretty. There's nothing like a good monochromatic spread. I love doing blues and the indigo sticker is perfect for that. I love this one. You guys know I love plants in my planner. These leaves are adorable and not gonna lie, I kinda hope I pick this one so I can make a leaf spread. <laughs> Sometimes if you're in a creative rut, you can just take stickers and put them across the middle of the page. This is a perfect example of that. Is this gorgeous or what? So filling a shape with stickers is a really fun way to add a dramatic impact to your page. Memory planning is a really great way to capture those moments. I love how she put the washi tape on here and it looks like they're adhering the photos to the page. Lots of solid color stickers on the left side, but I love that it's pretty neutral colors, so it really works. Sometimes florals and washi tape of like the same colors are like all you need in a spread and this one's so pretty. Okay, obviously someone got the Valentine's Day Be Happy box. Love this so much. Love the use of the sticky notes at the bottom. This is such a fun and cute daily page. I love the use of the Mickey and Minnie stickers in this one. So this spread was in honor of National Pizza Day. I love doing that in my planner, just taking one little fun holiday and creating a spread around it. I really love the use of the neutral color palette here and also that washi layering is really cool. This looks like a wellness currently page and I think that the Bold and Blush sticker book is perfect for that. This is so cute. I love that she combined a couple of different um, Disney sticker books here and I love like the differences in color. You guys probably know I love coffee and who doesn't love a really cute coffee spread? Lots of blues here. I love it and look at the layering in this one. It's really really good. I love a good spread with a little scene at the bottom. This one is so cute. Look at them. They've got the houses, the girls, everything. Really cute. I am loving these bright tropical colors and those stickers from Live Love Posh's sticker book. So cute. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm a fan of these big, huge stickers that make a statement, and I love the squad girls, so I love this one. Here is someone who's not afraid to bring in all the colors and all the florals. It's like an explosion of fun. I love it. Oh my gosh, how cute is this Disney Valentine themed spread? And I love that she used the arch boxes here. I think that that's a good example of how you can use them well. Here's an example of a spread that can be just really functional and minimal, but still cute without a whole lot of decoration on it. I think she did a good job. This one really speaks to me. I love that sticker pack and this spread is just really fun the way those stickers are positioned. I always love a really fun winter themed spread. I love the colors in this one and those sweaters are so cute. I love so much about this one. I love the florals at the bottom. I love the washi layering. I love that one sticker that's turned on its side. Perfect. I'm loving that giant mini head sticker in the middle there. It's just so fun to have a big statement sticker like that. Here's a good example of how you can bring in florals and still have like a neutral spread. Really, really cute. Look at these little envelopes cascading down the page with the hearts. I think that's adorable. I'm loving the bright florals in this one. Even the days of the week are orange, which I love. And then that bottom corner section is beautiful. I think it's important to create self-care pages. And I love this one, how she put the little stickers inside the boxes. Look at these cute little monthly stickers with the cats. They are so fun. Adorable Mickey and Minnie spread. I love those big stickers standing on top of the washi tape. Look at this cute Mulan spread. I love how those green florals were worked into it. 
Someone is definitely having the winter blues and ready for summer. This is so cute with those squad girls. I see someone else has the winter blahs and is looking forward to spring with this cute little squad girl spread. Here's another really fun Valentine spread. I love that section in the middle, how she cut off the stickers to make it look like they're going right off the page. So much Mickey and Minnie in this video, but it's perfect for Valentine's Day, right? Look at the hearts and they're just kissing. It's so fun. Here's a great example of how a large sticker in the middle of your spread can create a really big statement. This one's fun because there's really only color mostly in the middle and then black and white on the outsides. I think that's a cool look. Love those florals at the top and I really like how this is separated out. It's all really lined up nicely. Sometimes less is not more, but more is more. And here's a good example. Just bring in all the florals. I love it so much. Here's a beautiful spread using, I think, the Reach for the Stars sticker book. Love the placement of those diagonal stickers. More Mickey and Minnie, but I could not pass this one up. Look how cute they are in the dashboard layout. Okay, I obviously need to get my hands on that wide craft paper washi tape. So totally me, but look at that section on the left. I love it. This is such a cute currently page for March. It's kind of like St. Patrick's Day, but not over the top. Okay, I hope you enjoyed looking at their spreads. Now here's the fun part. I just went to the Google random number generator, put in 48. That's the number of spreads. And then I'm gonna hit generate. Okay, number 42 it is. Let's see who won. Number 42 is this spread from Flower Ducky 9107 Plans. Her name is Noreen and she's been a patron for actually a long time now. And Noreen is just super sweet and very supportive of other planners in the community. So I appreciate you, Noreen. And I'm gonna create a spread based on this style. So. I love how, like I said before, the colors are in the middle and then we have like black and white mostly on the outside. But another thing that's interesting about the spread that I didn't really notice before is that she alternated colors in the middle. So she has some color and then some black and white, like alternating florals. And I think that's a really cool idea. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a moment now and just find some floral stickers and I'll pull out some black and white sticker books and we'll see what I can create. Okay, so I'm going to be creating a spread in my classic happy planner for the week of February 28th through March 6th. And this is my journal, so keep that in mind when I'm decorating it. I decorate it a little bit differently than my catch-all. But I have a few books here. So I have some black and white books. I have Fancy Florals, um, Black and White, and then I have Neutral Florals by Caliba Plan, and then I have Functionally Chic by Live Love Posh, and Posh Summer by Live Love Posh. So these two books are available, but um, this one is only available in the Oops version. Um, there was like a couple of like little imperfections in that book, and you can go on her website to see like what they are, but so basically, if you want to get these books, you can use code. I'm going to link everything for you, but these ones have a code, so you can get 10% off with Bumble 10. So on anything, live, love, posh. So like you can check that out. Okay. So I chose this one because there's some fun bright colors in here, and I'm feeling like sort of blah, like you know, like those other people that created the spreads, like just the winter blues, you know, I kind of just want some bright, fun colors in here to just like lift my mood a little bit. So let's see what is here. Some really pretty flowers here. I'm gonna combine them like Noreen did with like other black and white flowers. So these ones are really pretty. I really love purples and oranges together. I think I'm gonna use these. Um, I could even like bring in like some of that if I wanted or these because they're like the same orange, right? So is that the same purple? I mean, kind of, I can pull all of this in if I want. So that gives me more options. So one tip when you're doing this and putting things down the middle is you can take washi tape and like, I don't usually do this, but I'll do it today just to show you. If you're having trouble like making sure these are lined up perfectly and that your stickers aren't going all over the place. Like just put washi tape on it and on the bottom. <coughs> Sorry. Ugh. Actually, if you want, I mean, and you can put some on the top, but if you want, you can even like put it over here so you can have that whole area full. Like, you know what I mean? 
Um, that way it's not in the way of whatever like thing you're putting in the middle. So let's do that. So we just line them up as perfect as we can. It doesn't have to be, you know, extremely perfect, but we'll put this over here. Okay, so now these are like not gonna go anywhere or anything like that. All right, um, let's look in this book to find the black and white flowers since we have those ones already. They're not gonna be the same kind of flower, but I don't think they need to be. So there's these, but these have like a black outline and I've used them, I think they're beautiful, but I don't know that I wanna use them for this spread. So this, those are like too dark for this. So let's see, I know Noreen used like ones that were white in the middle. So let's try to find that. Actually, while I'm here, why don't I use some of these? Because I just feel like since it's gonna be a black and white spread, they would be fun to put on the days of the week up there. So let's just put some of these on. Sometimes I like changing up, you know, the days of the week. I don't always, obviously, but once in a while, it's like fun to do, I feel like, you know, just for something different. And I do the same thing with the numbers too. Like sometimes I'll use different numbers at the top just to like decorate it a little more. And like sometimes it'll be in the decoration, like in the same colors as my spread or something, you know, just like change it up. I like to do that sometimes, as we know. So we're just gonna cover these. And I don't know that I'm gonna find the florals I want in this sticker book, so I'm gonna look at Kelova Plans book too. And if I can't find them in there, then maybe I want to like go into those Happy Planner sticker books and find just like the perfect black and white flower for the situation. Oh wait, I know, wait, no, that's not true. I did actually pull some out, sorry. I was kind of forgetting about these. So I have the Flower Power sticker book. This is like a mega sticker book. And I thought these kind of had the same feel as the flowers that Noreen used a little bit. I mean, they're black and white. They're, you know, line art kind of flowers. So I have two of these books, so I have like a bunch of these, so I'm gonna try to use these as well. I've got stuff everywhere, let's see. All right, so let's start with color on the bottom and grab this guy because I think this is beautiful. It's like gonna, wait till you see it on the page, it's just gonna pop on this white, watch. Oh my gosh, so pretty, right? And now we're gonna go into, like I said, this flower sticker book. I'm grabbing this off the side here. It's a little busy, hmm. Okay, instead of using the Happy Planner ones, I think we're gonna use these ones from Calibre Plan, um, from this sticker book here, Neutral Florals. Um, there's definitely some of those. Let me just look and see if there's anything else in here. I think I'm gonna use some of these like boxes too, because these are like black and white and kind of fun. Okay. I just think that these are a little less busy than the Happy Planner ones. Like they don't have like stems and stuff, most of them, you know what I mean? This one, may, well, I don't know, maybe not, but I'm gonna use these, I think. Okay, this is one of those spreads, I'm gonna have sticker books all over the place, but let's make it work. So let me just grab this guy and I'm gonna overlap a little probably, which is okay to do. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I'll just kind of turn it. Uh oh, I folded that one on itself. Not good, Mary Ellen. Oh no. Uh oh. We have an issue. Okay, there we go. All right, we got that. And now let's grab another colored flor flower. I think we'll go for the orange this time. Okay, and now another black and white, maybe even some smaller black and whites in between, right? Um, like this one. I can overlap that slightly. But let's grab a bigger one now, like one of these. Um, let's do this. Okay, and then another purple. It's okay if there's a little green in there. I'm all right with that. 
I'm gonna pull it over to this side a little because these are all kind of on this side. When I do things in the middle, I don't always do them very much in the middle. Sometimes I kind of alternate them a little bit. So this time I'm going a little bit more on this side. Okay, and now let's get another black and white. Bumble's like, what's going on? Gotta make my presence known. Put that one kind of right in the middle. And then we'll do like an orange one on the top. We could do one of these. And I'm just gonna take this off the page. Okay, that's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna leave this alone until the end and I'm gonna do this just because that way I can just keep this here without moving my spread. I don't know, just for something different. Okay, I guess I better let the dog out. So let's go back in here. I kind of like the idea of some patterns and then some boxes on top of the patterns. It's gonna stay in that black and white sort of theme, but it gives us a little bit of interest instead of just regular black boxes. So we will do that and put this down here. And then we'll take another one maybe for the other side of the page. Not that exact one, I don't think, but like, well, these are a little too busy, I think, but I wanted that same sort of vibe. Um, Maybe I will do the same one. So it's not so dark compared to that. And this time maybe I'll just turn it this way so it's a little bit different, right? Let me see, we'll do that. Pop that down there. Okay, so we have like a little bit of pattern going on and now we want some boxes right on top of those. So let's see what's in this book here. Um, let me grab one of these plain black boxes and I will pop it down up here on Monday. Again, this is my journal, so I don't like, it doesn't have to be on that specific day. So I kind of put boxes all over the place, just so you know. Okay, now she wants to come back in immediately. And I seriously just let her out, like literally just let her out. And grab this one. I'll put this one down and then I'll let her in. Oh, Mike is rescuing me. Thanks. Okay, so I think this one, like sometimes with these, I'll put it up here or I'll put it like down here. Sometimes I'll even put it in the middle. That's kind of a cool look. I think this one though, I'm gonna put on this side and then I'll take another one or two boxes off of that as well. So you can like use those little patterned boxes, you know, that Happy Planner has or these other sticker books and sort of like use them as a backdrop for your boxes that you're gonna layer on top of them. It just adds a little more interest rather than just black box, black box, black box, right? So it's just a little varied and I, I really enjoy that look. So I try to do that, you know, when I see those. All right, um, this time I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna layer this one on top of this. Okay. I feel like I might wanna bring another type of box in here that's not the same. So let me check out this book box, blah, 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 this book again. Okay, she just has that one type of box in there. I can use some of the Calava plan boxes too, but let's check out this black and white sticker book. So maybe I might use some quotes too. Maybe there's something different. I mean, there's those, but I don't think those, you know, fit the vibe. They don't pass the vibe check. Ooh, look at these. I could have used something like this. Like this one. Oh well. I can still use it if I want to. And there's like that little teeny polka dot one. I should have looked in here first. Lesson learned. These are this is a really cute sticker book. I don't use it much because I'm more of a color girl, but I like this one. Always be kind. Let's use that one. Let this be a lesson to you all to everyone. There are, you know, especially on the internet, there are real people behind, um, you know, that like the social media names, like there are real people back here reading all of your comments. So, you know, please be kind 
not just to me, but like, honestly, to everybody, I can't imagine ever leaving such a, like a mean comment on someone's video or like their post. To me, that is just like something that I can't even fathom. Like I can't, <laughs> I just don't get it. Like it doesn't, I don't get it. So just be kind. Um, let's see. I'm looking for one that's going to motivate me. <laughs> Will all be all, how about it will all be all right. I think I need this reminder <laughs> this week. I think I need this reminder. So let's put this. Um, I'm not going to put it directly across from there. Bumble's throwing her ball at me. I'm not going to put it directly across because I don't like that look. And I don't know if I'm going to be using any more of these. So I'm going to put it down here. Um, I'm going to cluster it with this right over that polka dot thing. So when you do this, like it's gonna be less polka dots showing, but you've got that little bit of area behind it that just really does help create interest. So, you know, if you've, you're afraid to try that, just do it. It's like stick one of those pattern stickers down and then just see what you can do with it. Okay, let's see. I mean, I saw these, I just think these are, again, they didn't pass the vibe check. I already discussed that with you. Let's see. Um, there's also these that have the florals in them. I think those are fun, but I don't know. Oh, Bumble, I know. You're not passing the vibe check, Bumble. I am gonna take maybe a couple of these little ones. Bumble's not passing the vibe check. You're seriously not. You're stressing me out. Okay. I don't know that I want two squares next to each other, actually. Let's see. I like using these big ones sometimes, but I don't know that I want to do it in this spread because Noreen didn't use a big one. I'm trying to sort of, you know, not copy, but get inspiration from her anyway. So, but this was sort of my inspiration, the colors, and I'm sort of doing my own thing now just because I want to. I want to do my own thing, you know? Cause that's what it's all about finding inspiration from something and then making it your own you know that's what i like to do i'm gonna layer this here okay it's coming out really cute so far and then maybe one of these guys um i could do like this or i could leave that alone too but Let's see, what, it, what would it look like if I did that? Let's just take a look. It's, uh, it's kind of cute. It's a little crooked. Bumble's not passing the vibe check. She's throwing a ball at me. She's not passing the vibe check. <laughs> you had to be there. Okay, I don't really, actually, I don't like that there. I changed my mind. Imagine that. Okay. Let's see what else is in these books. How about this one? There's like these, kind of like this. Let me take this off. I'm just gonna cover this and like, I don't care that there's a line showing, just so you know. Okay, that's good there. I wonder if Jessica has any like month ones in this book, let's check it out. She has days of the week, get it done, priorities. There's months, but they're not like, I wanted ones like this, you know? So I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab a little one of these circles because sometimes I like to break up the rectangles with some circles, you know? So we'll put this here and it's gonna like kind of cover some of that area. So it's not so much polka dot right there. I like that. Okay. Now let's bring in some lines, just a couple. 
I didn't really want to because I don't usually do it in my journal, but I feel like this is gonna like really work with it. Plus I think Noreen used lines in hers, right? So that makes sense. Let me get my Muji. Um, this is the Happy Planner Checklist Stencil. This is a Muji 0.38. I always link everything for you. So you can check that out. Actually, I don't want those lines right there because there's lines on that sticker. And we'll do some up here, I guess. Okay. All right. I'm kind of thinking I want like one more little bit of pattern. I know that I said I wasn't gonna do that, but I'm kind of feeling that because I'm really liking those patterns there. So let's pull out, oh, and I was gonna do a couple of little quotes too. Um, Let's pull out some other one. Nothing too busy or too dark. I don't want it just to be light and airy like those, that the feel of the other one. So maybe this, but that's polka dot and those two are like different polka dots, so I don't know. Or we can just do like some little wine, line, wine. <laughs> it's too early for wine, Mary Ellen little line strips. Maybe that will add a little bit of pattern up there and make me feel a bit better about that area. I think that will work. Okay. And then to balance that out, I feel like we need to put some over here. Let's do that. You don't have to, but I just feel like I like to kind of balance the washi or the strip stickers. I just, I don't know. I just like feel like it makes a difference in how, like the overall balance of the spread, you know? So not required, but sometimes nice. All right, it's looking really good. So now I think I wanna get another one of these types of boxes because I don't want like one busy box on the one page and not on the other page. So let's do that. Um, I'm gonna grab this one. I could actually use like a smaller one that has the pattern instead of using a bigger one. Let me see, that might be better. There's also these, I think these are so pretty and I could have used some of these in here but I feel like it might be a little too late now. Let's say use a couple of these ones. Hmm, what if I did that? I don't know, I don't think I want to. I like kind of these little solid I'm gonna need some sort of solid black thing up here, but I don't think I want a solid box. Um, although there is this one that's gonna match that. But I'm not gonna be writing in it with white, I don't think. I could, but I think I'm not gonna do that. So I'm not gonna use that. Um, let's see. I'm just looking, okay, so these. What about this one? Like right here. Okay. And just a couple more things and then we'll be done. I think it's looking so cute. Uh, yeah, I think it's looking really, really cute. I need a bigger box than that. Even use this one. I might use this one because I feel like if I just put a couple of plain boxes up here, it might look a little boring compared to the rest of the spread, right? So I think that kind of makes sense. I know I have that flower here, which is sort of why I turned it so it's not the same as that. You see what I'm saying? So if we put it this way, I think it looks a little bit better. So I'm gonna overlap the line a little, but I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna overlap it a little more than usual, just to give it, I don't know. I feel like it should be away from this quite a bit in order to kind of look balanced. So I'm also, you know, figuring out, okay, I'm not gonna put it up at the top because I try to, so here's what I do. And I probably have explained this before, but if you're new to my channel or whatever, I try to like, alternate where they are. So 
If I put it here, it's gonna be directly across this one. Now there's nothing at all wrong with that. You can certainly do that and it's gonna look cute. But what I like to do, which I think is a better balance, is, okay, so that if that's directly across, I like to move it up slightly, but I don't like to move it up so much that it's up to that level. That way, when you're looking at a spread, your eyes are sort of bouncing around the page instead of like looking in lines. That being said, sometimes I will create lines on purpose and have like a box, 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 and it's a certain look, but on regular everyday average spread, I like to sort of do that. I like to like just change it up. And that's why I'm not putting this here because that's right there, which I do sometimes, but I sort of want to just move it over, have it between these, have it between these. Um, hopefully that makes sense. That's what I like to do. You don't have to do that. Your, your spreads can still look really cute if you don't. But, and like I said, I don't always do it. But like, if you're interested in how I balance things, that's one of the things that I, I typically do. Okay, there's no boxes on Wednesday. I'm trying to avoid like this situation by putting a box here because that like, creates a line, which I get myself into that situation quite a bit, but um, let's look at the quotes actually, because I write on the page. I don't have to write in a box every time. So let's check out these quotes because maybe I could just throw a quote in there and it might look okay, but I don't want one that's like super busy. I don't want it to be too, too, too busy. So that can be tricky. Like these to me, like I like them, but I think they're like too much for me for this spread. Right. I want it to be more like, I wish that there was a whole book of just quotes that had like really like without the gold here, like real simple writing, because sometimes I like to really pop them in to different places, you know? Okay. I'm going to take this one maybe. Let's see if this would work. I don't know that I want it there though. I might put it on Sunday. I'm going to put it here on Sunday. It's okay to rest. Take a breather. I need to remind myself of that a lot because I'm very ambitious and I'm very like motivated and I tend to do too much. Like, oh look, I, this is a good page too. I tend to do too much and I, I want to like not be that way all the time so i need like a little bit of a reminder to rest you know and i'm not saying that having it in my spreads can make me rest but it might help a little bit so i could use this one because it's going to match that rest quote on the other side right but i don't know if i have room for it we're going to try it out i was thinking like here but it doesn't really like that's so dark and this isn't, but I think it's, at least it matches like that sort of vibe, right? So I am gonna put it up here and it's gonna just overlap the flowers. And you know what? I don't care. I do not care. Ooh, I do care though. Ooh, that's busy. Sorry guys, I care. I care a lot. I know. You're probably like, don't put it there. That's too much. You are correct. I should use undo. Taking a risk. Ooh, okay. So we might do like a smaller one or, and maybe we might put it down here. Don't stop believing in the good. Okay. I'm just gonna pop that down there. That's not good either. What? I'm sorry, you guys. You know I'm a perfectionist. I can't control it. <laughs> Yikes. Um, maybe I wanna put it here and like, I know it's gonna overlap that line, but then it's not so close to the flowers. How's that look? It's not horrible. It's not great, so I'm leaving it. Okay. And I said this needs a little pop of black up here, and I do agree with that. So how about another one of these little guys from this book, The Fancy Blooms. What will do happy? Um, we'll just pop that in the corner, I guess. Okay. And I'm almost done. Let's see. I need like maybe another box here. Mm, 
Bumble. Just like not a real big box, you know? Something smaller, but not too small. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe another one with the flowers since there's two of those on this side. These are falling all over the place. How about like this, right? I think that will probably work. I know we're gonna get that line, but at this point I probably can't avoid it. So I'm not gonna try to avoid it. I'm just gonna pop it down. I think that's good. Okay, so let's take our scissors or my scissors and cut, cut that, okay? We'll cut this first, and we'll take this off. Now I need to find my bigger scissors here. Let's see. I've been doing a lot of planning, so my desk is very, very messy. So finding the scissors could prove to be a little difficult. Here's some. Okay. I'm going to turn this around so I can see the line better. Cut, cut, cut. Uh oh. It's always kind of tricky to do this. Sometimes I use a paper trimmer, but I don't trust myself. Okay, that's good enough. And now what we will do is punch it. Let me get my Happy Planner punch. What I usually do when I use this punch is put a piece of paper there with it because sometimes like it helps to have these not gum up like the punch. So I'm just going to grab this piece of scrap paper and put it here. Okay, so this is a big Happy Planner punch and you just have to be careful when you're doing this because you need to line it up to the lines and if you're using big, you line it up to both lines. If you're using classic pages you line it up to these two and then this is mini but the lines are like kind of thick so and you have to like play around with it to know exactly where the lines need to go <laughs> and that can sometimes be tricky actually what i'm going to do is punch it on this side because i can see the holes here better and that way i can kind of like look at these metal things and line it up in the middle of the metal things in addition to lining up with the lines it just makes it a little more accurate like i've been burned many times in the past by not doing that and and then i regret it so i'll just punch see it kind of goes down below the line on this one and you have to sort of calibrate each punch because they're all sort of different so i'll do this one Line this guy up like this. Make sure it's all the way in too, because that can be a problem as well. Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I, I really, really like it. I love that pop of color in the middle. I just think it makes it so pretty. So. In the last video when I did this patron inspiration thing, a lot of you had said you wanted to see like the them side by side at the end because you felt like I should have shown the picture again. So I'm listening to you and I'm gonna put them side by side. And uh, yeah, like thanks so much for your inspiration, Noreen. And I hope you guys got some inspiration out of this one as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget, like, sign up for my Patreon because it's not just this kind of stuff. It's lots of different fun stuff we have going on over there. So I'd appreciate if you'd just at least check it out and see if it's something that you're interested in. Okay, see ya.